Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll show you how to make a follow system just like Instagram and display a dynamic button in Flutter Flow. Before we start, please like this video if you think it will help, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. So, in my example the database is already set up, but if you still don't know how to do this you can access the Flutter Flow documentation, and they will show you everything you need to do. Now we need to add a new page. Click on New Page button. Let's name it List of Users, because the purpose of this page is to display all our users in a list. I'll also start the page from scratch so you can see every step. Click on Create Page button to start it from scratch. We are now back in the editor. Now let's add the app bar and place the front end elements. I will make a very minimal design for this prototype. Now I will set a name on the app bar. Okay, so now we have to open the widget tree of elements and place the elements we need. We see that we already have the column. We need to add a container inside the column. Click on add a widget, search for container, and add it to the column. Let's play a little with the container properties from the right side of the editor. Set the padding on the left side to 10 and on the right side to 10. Now, we can set the width of the container to 100%. Okay, and now let's add a row inside the container. Click on Add a Widget, search for the row, and add it to the column. On this row, you can add images, text, and all these things, but I think for this prototype, it's enough to use text. So, I will remove the image I just added to the row and look to add a text component. Also, to make the buttons display dynamically, we need to place a stack element and two buttons inside it. So, let's add a stack widget inside the row. The first button will be for follow, and the second button will be for unfollow. I have added a button in this stack, and let's put the follow text for it. Now we can easily duplicate this button and place the other button that will be with another color. We can now put the text for this button to be unfollow and set the color for the unfollow button to be gray. For that, you can just open the palette color and adjust your preferred color. I will set it to be gray. Let's set the row main axis alignment as follows so that the elements are placed in the extremes. Now, we can adjust the height of the container. I will set it to 60 pixels but as I said, I am not focusing on designing. Next, we should set up the column query. Select the query type as query collection. Select the user collection. The type should be list of documents and you can exclude the current user. Click confirm to create the backend query and now we see that the user list has been created. We can now set the text to be dynamic from the variable and display the current user name. Now, for the backend functionality, in our case we will have to add a single property to the database. So we need to open the database and add the property with which we will build the follow and unfollow system, like Instagram. I will set the name as followed users, but you can put any name you want. As a property type there must be a list and a document reference with the collection of users. And save it. Now, we go back to the app editor, and we need to set up some conditional visibility for our follow and unfollow buttons. I am selecting the unfollow button, and from the right menu I set up the conditional visibility. Set a single condition. The first value of this condition you should set as the authenticated users followed users property, the one that we created a few moments ago. Select list contains item, and put the document user reference. And click confirm. The second value we set it to be true, because when I follow this user, I see the button to unfollow him. We can also hide the unfollow button in the editor for now and make the visibility condition settings for the follow button. I am selecting the follow button, and from the right menu, I set up the conditional visibility. Set a single condition. The first value of this condition you should set as the authenticated user's followed user's property. Select list contains item and put the user document reference. And now you can click confirm. The second value we set it to be false because if I don't follow this user, I see the button to follow him. 
Now I remember that I made a mistake on the unfollow button because I set this property to false and it should be true. Let me edit it so we don't have any errors. We are good for now. Now we have to set the actions that each button does. The follow button should add a user to the followed user's property and the unfollow button should remove a user from the followed users. I will start with adding the action on unfollow button. The type of the action should be update document and as the reference we select authenticated user reference. I set the first field as the followed users. The list update type should be removed from set because we do this action for the unfollow button. And as set reference, we set up the user document reference. Now, let's do the action for follow button. Before to do that, I will hide the unfollow button because it's more easy for me to do the work. I will add the action on follow button from the right menu. The type of the action should be update document, and as the reference, we select authenticated user reference. I set the first field as the followed users. The list update type should be add to set, because we do this action for the follow button. And as set reference, we set up the user document reference. And that's it in the editor for now. Let's run a test version and see if it works. So I have generated a test version of my app and I see the list users in that page. If I click on follow button, the actions are successfully made and the button is changed because of the visibility condition that we set. That's it for today. Don't forget to like this video if you think it helped you. Leave a comment below and of course subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon.